Some of the really cool things out there for in the world of virtual machines is the virtual appliance marketplace uh, that VMware has. And what that is is where various software vendors have created, I hate to use the term plug and play, but it's probably as close to plug and play as you can get, virtual machines with sample of their products. You see, software vendors have <coughs> realized that one of the biggest problems that they've had with support is never knowing exactly what kind of environment their software would be installed in and how well it would play with other things. Uh, and that it causes a lot of support issues for them. What they're learning is if we can pre-install, uh, create a virtual machine with an operating system, our specific application, then we have total control over how the software is installed, set up, and the operating system that it runs on. And it's uh, as simple as writing the VMware player, uh, launching the virtual machine, uh, connecting it to your network, and start using the application. Very, very simple stuff. And some of these companies that are on this virtual marketplace, uh, there's uh, Insight, there's IBM, uh, Promax, Blue Lane, Red Hat, I'm just kind of going through some on the list here. MindTouch, Beehive, Proofpoint. I mean, there's all kinds of companies with specialty products running on, on virtual machines. Our Spamigator is a, a specialty product running on a virtual machine. And the great thing is, you don't have to do the installation of the operating system. You don't have to do, uh, you don't have to do the install of the software. It's all done for you. And uh, many of these virtual machines uh, allow you to try the software for a period of time before you uh, register it and pay for it. If you don't like it, you just delete the virtual machine and life goes on. And if you like it, then you contact the vendor and you can get a key and, and off you go. There's also an amazing amount of free virtual machines on there uh, that's been put together by hobbyists, um, enthusiasts, uh, some open source companies. And we're talking, uh, for example, Sugar CRM is available in a virtual machine. And uh, all kinds of distributions of Linux. There's CentOS, there's, uh, which is a Red Hat Enterprise clone. There's uh, Ubuntu. Uh, so if you want to play around with some different operating systems, you just download you know, the file, run your player, Point to that machine, it opens up, it'll boot, connects to your network, configures itself, and, and you've got a Linux machine and you're running Ubuntu. And you can play with it, and if you like it, maybe you'll use it for other things. If not, get it out of there, and you're done. 